a few moments later okay so i know it might have looked like i was done pulling but uh <laughs> oh kelly i'm not familiar with her is she new i don't think i've ever seen her before okay it might have looked like i was done pulling but uh, why the fuck you lying why you always lying um hmm, thompson's in there too he was super, super rare for the longest time. I got him from a crate that they released like a year ago and never saw me anything again. So I guess Thompson's back now. But yeah, here I am, back pulling again a couple hours later. Uh, I think I'm going to just do a couple tens and a single pull. But this Kelly, I like her a lot, actually. Even though she's a four star, I think I'm going to keep her around. She is a crit leader for an alert team, 36 crit. That's gonna be really good for those zombie stages on survival road. So I think I'm actually gonna keep her around and like, you know, not depot her. I'm gonna max her and use her. Uh, moving right along, next hand pool. Yeah, I know it looked like I was done, but uh, Thompson again got bit by the bug. So many four stars now. That's pretty. It's pretty awesome. I'm glad to see that. <laughs> and there's the uh, epic it's Alicia, epic Alicia. Um, she's one of the older, older tunes. Been around freaking forever. Looks like a dehydrated turd. It looks like a can of dog food. It's like a fucking flip flop. Looks like a bison's tongue. It's like someone's pissed in my soup. When she first came out, she was awesome, but you know, with the power creep and everything, she's not really that great anymore. Let's keep it going. I think Scopely like stayed true to their word and they're literally giving an epic for every 40 pulls. Cause I mean, I got three epics today. Shiva, Alicia, and Jesus. So, okay, okay, not bad. So outside of, I doubt I get another epic, but outside of uh, the pools that I'm showing you guys, um, I'm also gonna go ahead and do like an epic token opening because they've totally revamped the wheel. So one of them is gonna be mine, and then it's uh one of like my close friends in this game, dude named Martito. He's like a major token hoarder, so he has literally like ninety thousand epic tokens saved up. I'm gonna say that for the end of the video. You guys get to see him open that up and get a real good review of the wheel and what are your chances of getting that new stuff that they put on the epic token wheel because they've totally redone it yeah it looks like it's getting more or less the same mediocre three stars four stars Whew, excuse me all right let's get some single pools going it's heath jesus back to back four stars so many more four stars now also, after this pull, I'm going to show you guys what Ascendance looks like. I'm pretty sure most of you guys already ascended some tunes. Like, literally the second the second in live, I know everybody has started ascending tunes. But with that pack opening, we got enough for an epic pull. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to do some ascending stuff. Okay, so we're ascending my first ever tune. And the first one to ascend is going to be, it's going to be Chuck. Okay, so now we got to find some fodder to feed Chuck. Are any of these any good? Let's see what we got. Huh, they let you actually use trainers as fodder. I would strongly suggest using like your four star trainers. We can definitely get rid of Greg Fairbanks and Joe Bob. Maggie, Zachary, even though he's neutralized. Yeah, we can let go of all of these. Yeah. Even though he's neutralized, I'll let him go. Need one more lucky fella. All right, here we go. Chuck always brought me luck. He was always one of my favorite four stars. Bring me some luck, Chuck. That is Abraham. That is exactly what I wanted. Have you actually ever sat at a table and watched six customers with this fucking donkey's dick swinging 
in front of their face. It's hilarious. I kind of wanted Lee or that one drop leader that gives a large bonus, large drop bonus. I already got Abraham. I guess he would be fodder for when I assumed one of my legendaries. There we go. Not bad. Just enough to get my ascendance on. Okay. Let's look for some fodder to go ahead and feed our friend Luke. Who we get rid of? Anything important? No. Okay, she's up. Throw another undeveloped Luke up. Some bowls. Oh, I hate Sadiq. And let's see. Who? Oh, man. Fuck. Wake up and admit it shifts! Dry and tasteless. It's dry, it's dry. Look how dry that is. Dry. Yeah, dry. It's the soup. Really? It's drier than the Sahara Desert. It's my third Vernon. Well, there's another one to feed. The five star ascendant whenever that happens. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into my personal epic token. Oh, huh, Morgan. He's a command. He kicks ass. 400 damage. Uh, green. I already have one. I think I have a max one already. But I might keep him around. Because those double command teams really can really be annoying. Not sure. But yeah, that's my first epic off the revamp wheel. So right here, we're going to get into uh, my boy Nartito. Faction leaders. Pulls. I'm very curious to see what he got. He drew it out and made it all dramatic, but he's going to give us a real view of what you can expect from um, the wheel or whatever. Lester. Alicia. Abraham. Kane. Tyrese. Herschel. Man, he kind of cleaned up. This is uh, pretty awesome. I used to make fun of him like all the time for waiting so long to do his pulls. But like now he's done them and damn. Uh, I guess it was worth the wait. So yeah, that's more or less what you guys can uh, expect. I know this was like a long video. I had to break it down into two parts. But I appreciate you guys sticking around for all of that. It was a whole lot, because Scopely did a whole lot. So, thanks for watching. It's your boy, Joe. Until next time, peace. Peace for real this time. Like, there's not a part three. Peace.